What do you guys think about the Xbox Series X and S currently outselling the PlayStation 5 in Japan? And only for a week, I understand that. And, and obviously supply issues play a big role in that. But this is something we've seen out for two weeks in Japan. And I just feel like even though there are supply issues, it's pretty uh, remarkable compared to what Xbox was did last generation with the Xbox One, which barely sold anything. We know the Series X and S as well is is tracking to outsell the the Xbox 360 this generation, which I think would be a huge success. And I'm sure Phil Spencer will be pretty pleased to see that as that was one of the main things that he went over and he talked about with the release of the Series X and S was getting Xbox into the minds of Japanese gamers way more than it currently is now. But the fact that to over two weeks, they've outsold the PS5. Yes, supply issues play a big role into that. I think I saw I saw a, a comment on my video where I talked about this. I mean, I expl- explicitly said that it was about... We were talking about in that video about the actual specific week about Xbox selling outselling Japan. And if you've watched any of my videos where I talk about sales, console sales, I always say one of the reasons it is definitely supply constraints as to why people pick up certain consoles. But I just don't think that is the only reason. Right now, if you look here at the numbers, they say here, supply constraints continue to cause havoc. Xbox Series outsold the PS5 for a second week in Japan last week. Series S, 3,423. Series X, 3,272. PS5, 2,371. So they outsold the... Excuse me. Because outsold the PS5 by about 4,000 units. And I mean, it's not a massive number, but it's still something for a console and a brand that really... It just was dead in Japan last generation, like pretty much. And even when you think about the 360, I think it's like 1.6 million units, which is great for Xbox there. But overall, compared to the other consoles that are out there, still not very much. And like the constraint, the the supply constraints play a big issue, a big problem for PlayStation 5. But when people are walking into stores right now and they see that an Xbox is available, I just feel like with the Xbox One, if that was ever the case, they probably would have just walked out of there and waited for a PS4 to come into stock before buying a console. Now people are actually going in there, even if the PS5 isn't in stock, and they're picking up a Series X or a Series S. And that's, I think, is just a testament of how much Xbox has turned it around this generation. People are going in there, they're hearing about Game Pass. Now with the Persona announcement, I'm sure that's a big thing as well. And they're wanting to pick this thing up. So I think it's pretty cool. It says here, last month, Famitsu reported that Microsoft managed to sell 6,120 Xbox Series S units in the week of May 9 to 15. So this was the first week that they outsold it with an additional 105 Xbox Series X. And that's another thing I want to mention here is that that week in May from 9 to 15, they only sold 105 Xbox Series Xs which is crazy. And that's, that's with the supply constraints, but they were still, they still managed to sell 6,000 of the series S's. So it seems like no matter what, someone walks into a store and they see an Xbox on the shelf, they want it, whether it's a series X or a series S it's a console that is desirable for gamers in Japan because only 105, that must've been because of, because of the, the supply constraints during that period. Whereas you see it more balanced here between the S and the X. And they say in that same period, PS5 managed to shift just just shift? Ship? Shift? I don't know. Just 2,963 units. So again, still very well behind. And this is like the first time. This was the first time it happened, then it happened again. And it'll be crazy to see if this hap- continuously happens throughout the rest of this year. For PlayStation, their supply constraints, big thing. But it's also that strategy. The Series S is continuously showing up to be and almost like just a brilliant move by Xbox because we remember when the Series S was announced when the Series S was announced everybody was like oh the Series S the least powerful console it's going to hold back this generation it's going to make games not be able to be at their full potential and all that type of stuff and it's going to um, nobody's going to buy it and all, and it's going to cannibalize the sales of the Series X. And then just all this, like these bad takes about the Xbox Series S, which we've completely seen the opposite occur where the Series S has been a, a saver for what's going on right now in just business and in the industry of making silicon for these consoles and 
making the chips and being able to produce these consoles that the Series S is obviously they're able to just get more stock out there and people will want them because they just want to wait to get into the ecosystem and at two ninety nine. And I think it was even cheaper recently. I think it was like two seventy. There's been deals where you get the Series S for two ninety nine plus a free controller. There was a deal I think with Elden Ring that popped up this week as well. I don't know how much it was, but I think it was like in just a great deal. You got the Series S for the price and maybe you got Elden Ring for free or something. Don't quote me on that, but I, I thought I had saw something like that. And it just seems to be a saver because one thing with consoles that people love to always quote is the exclusives, the exclusives, the exclusives. But I don't know about you guys. When I was growing up with consoles and I when I was young and I didn't follow all the exclusives, I didn't know what was out there, I guess younger. Um, I would always try to find the best deal. <laughs> like I, there was games I wanted to play. A lot of them were third party. It would be like, where are my, first of all, where are my friends located on, on which console are they on? And secondly, is there like a good bundle? Do I want to pay 700 or $600 versus 500? Or do I want to pay 300 versus 500? All that type of stuff, just to be able to play these current games that are, these big AAA games, they're all able to be played on consoles. That's one of the biggest sellers. The big AAA third-party games that are played across all the consoles, the price of the console itself is a huge seller, and it always has been. Think about to like the PS3 days when the 360 came out a year in advance, and then the PS3 came out after that, but it was, what, $5.99 or something crazy? And just how bad of a launch the PS3 was because of that? Mainly it was because of that price point. And then... It, and then because of the uh, cell um, uh, architecture or whatever for the developers. they I remember I remember on, on that generation, there was like sports games like Madden or, or NBA and like NHL that were running at like 720p or something on the PS3 when they, when they had first come out compared to 1080p on the, uh, on the Xbox 360. So all that stuff hindered it. But I think the major thing for the PS3 when it first launched was that price point. They were coming off like a record generation with the PS2. The PS2 is one of the most successful consoles of all time to completely blow it with the launch of the PS3. And then obviously they they recovered throughout the generation. I think overall they they sold more than the 360, but 360 with that lower price point just completely blew it out, blew it out of the water. And then you also had the Wii that generation, which also blew everything out of the water, was a lower price point. And then it had those motion controls that everybody played literally Wii Sports for or played Wii Sports and then never picked up their Wii again. I know that's what I did. But yeah, I think this is good. I know people love to just quote the the shortage uh, of supply, but that's definitely not the only reason. It, it It's not the only reason. Be, I say that because it just continuously is happening now. So it's that strategy that Xbox has done with their ecosystem, with cloud gaming and stuff, which has been very, very smart. We'll